everybody welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new i'm melissa and i make fashion beauty and lifestyle content here on this channel so i'm editing my video right now and i realized i never did an intro so i just popped in to say this is a vlog i'm doing a college days in my life video i have a trader joe's fall haul i'm doing my hair showing you how i use the dyson air wrap this i did with a curling iron and i can show you guys if you want me to so let me know down below i also have a dossier and a christmas haul <laughs> i know it was a little bit early but yeah so here is the video enjoy <laughs> Good morning, it is Friday. So I just went to Trader Joe's and I did a whole haul. All of these bags are filled up. Nick is having a birthday, so I wanted to get some items for his birthday. Well, all of this is for his birthday. I spent way too much money, but I did try the La Colombe coffee, the pumpkin spice one. It has low sugar, which is good. It's only 100 calories. Um, it's okay. I feel like my coffee recipe was better. So definitely be on the lookout for that unless it's already up I'll link it down below, but let's get into what I got from Trader Joe's I got this Kringle that everybody talks about it is a pumpkin one I normally wouldn't get this like on a weekly basis or these apple cider donuts, but I figured For the party it would be fun and I wouldn't have to bake and I got this cute pumpkin. Look at the texture. This is literally just gonna be decor and I'm so happy about it. But yeah, I don't know if I explained it. Nick's birthday is coming. Well, it already passed, but his actual physical party is coming. So I'm gonna do a big spread on this island of foods and fruit. So I got some blackberries. I got three things of strawberries. I got me an apple for a snack today. I got cucumbers to chop up and put out. These are the organic Persian cucumbers. Here are the three things of strawberries. One of those might be for me for today. I got two of their cheeses because they have amazing cheeses. I was shocked they still have this. This is the creamy Toscano cheese soaked in Syrah, which is a wine. This is so, so good. You have to try this if you like wine. If you don't like wine, then that flavor that's added to the cheese might like put you off, but I think it's just dipped. The wheel of cheese is dipped in the wine. It's so good. And then this one's new to me. It's the Green Goddess Gouda. I thought this would be good to put out with crackers. I thought it was like a safe cheese to put out. That was still like fun. And then I got some grapes to continue on with my fruit spread. And then some organic cut and peeled carrots for people to nibble on. And right there, what you're looking at is my desk and my mirror. We don't have a, the TV stand yet. It didn't come in the mail. We're working with what we got right now. I really want the rest of our furniture to come in. I got some of the croissants. These are Nick's like favorite treat. So I got a few of those. I think I got three boxes because I can put them in my bakery case that I have. It's just like a little glass cake stand. I figured I could put that out for everybody. And then I just got a thing of rice for meal preps later this week. I still have to do like our grocery shopping for this week. This is like literally for his party. So I don't know why I went so ham, but I got these mac and cheese bites because I thought they'd be fun. These are regular for people who want those. And then these are the butternut squash ones. I thought those would be super fun and like fall themed. And then I thought this was another safe bet. They're these little pizzas. I thought they would be cute and super easy to just throw in the oven. And I'm trying to create a little bit less work for myself. I am the queen of going all out for no reason. I mean, it's Nick's birthday, but you know what I mean. And then there was this butternut squash mac and cheese. I thought that'd be fun for Nick and I to split one night. I would definitely add some more veggies and a protein to that, but it looks delish. I got some bananas. This is actually for this morning because I haven't had breakfast yet. I got some caramelized onion dip. I thought that would be super good to put out with chips as like a really nice easy dip that people would love. I got some Greek dressing. I think I want to cut up the cucumbers and put them in Greek dressing or just have it on the side if somebody wants that. So I'm gonna cut up one thing of these kiwis to put in the fruit board. And then I got another thing of kiwi is just for me. And then I got two of these mini pumpkins for decor. I thought that would be super cute. Okay, last bag. I got these fall leaf chips, very on theme. And I got that for the onion dip. I got these organic non crackers for the cheese. I also got these multigrain flax seed crackers. Now flax seeds are great if you have PCOS because they have a ton of omegas. So I got these just to have on hand when I want that wine cheese. I got some salmon and sweet potato treats for Buddy because he's coming back from Nan's house this week. 
I got these. These are the pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. Everybody's been raving about them, so I figured I would just throw them out on my little pastry case for the party. I also got garlic stuffed olives to put out with the fruit and veggies just because these are like so good. And then lastly for the party food, I got these pumpkin seeds. I thought this would be fun and kind of like on theme. And I really like the neutral color and I know you're not supposed to like, you know, pick food based on their neutral color, but I thought it would look good in my serving bowls that I have. And pumpkin seeds are good for you. And then I got some protein bars. I got a white chocolate almond and then the caramel cashew barbell bars. And then in true Melissa fashion, I got two things from the beauty section. Okay, so everybody's been raving about this um, body butter, the Brazil nut one. They say it's like the Sol de Janeiro one. Ooh, it says a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent. Ooh, I should've got more than one, but I didn't know if I was gonna like the formula. So I got that. And then I got a pumpkin overnight face mask, just for some fun this fall season. And it was only $6.99 and the ingredients were pretty good. So I was like, all right. So this is everything we got for $155. I don't really know where it went, but I guess that's Trader Joe's for you. All right, so I'm starting by putting the Color Wow Dream Coat all in my hair. It is so nice and it really helps with blowouts. And then I'm putting on the blow dryer attachment on the Dyson. Now, when I'm blow drying my hair, I always try to work on like the root the most because I'm gonna go in with the air wrap later on and it's gonna give me those curls. So I'm spending a little bit time on my ends just to dry my hair, but I'm spending the most time at my roots, as you can see. And I'm using my wet brush just to keep my hair straight. And then what I do is I change the attachment to the curling attachment. And you're gonna see I take little sections of hair and suck it on up. Now, if you look at what I did right here, I accidentally put the wrong attachment on. So it went towards my face and it looks hilarious. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened there. So I changed the attachment to the one that points directs my hair away from my face so then the Dyson just sucks the hair up it wraps it around the shaft of <laughs> the air wrap and then it curls the hair and heats it at the same time so I just go through section by section making sure that I get all of my hair and it's super easy honestly I don't know if this takes any less time than just blow drying your hair and then using a curling wand I just like that it's all one step so I'm only using heat on my hair in one go with like the blow drying and then the air wrap as opposed to having to blow dry my hair then straighten it and then curl it that's like three different modes of heat so I just continue on air wrapping around my entire head and if you notice the curls are really really tight and I do this because my hair is going to fall so the weight of my hair is going to pull those curls down especially if I don't set it with any hairspray at first so I just go around my entire head and if you notice sometimes the lighting gets a little bit brighter and then it gets a little bit darker in the video that's because every time I turn on the air wrap my vanity lights get darker. I don't know if it's like a power surge or something. So if you're noticing that, that's what that is. But another tip for the Dyson Air Wrap, I put the hair all the way on and I use like the full heat mode. And then you're gonna notice I always push my finger up and that act activates the cold air. And I set in the curl with that cold air after I've used the heat on it. So that is just the technique that works best for me. And then I wanted to do just another close up in better lighting so you can see what's going on. And again, these curls are really tight, but they fall so beautifully. I just think it creates the perfect look and it's so easy to do, it's so simple. Don't mind my ring light back there, it is just chilling. And I don't really get that much frizz at the top of my roots as long as I spray it with a little bit of hairspray. Here's the hair when I have just Finish. the curls are still that ringlet shape so it's just the Dyson air wrap I use a wet brush for my initial blow through and then the only thing I put in my hair post shower was the Olaplex number no. three and then I went in with the color Wow dream coat this stuff is amazing it's gonna be in a favorites video coming up just FYI but yeah so I'm gonna let my hair fall over the next hour and then I'll go ahead and put product in to kind of lock in the style then I don't know if you noticed in the beginning I literally curled the wrong way in the front so it was like going towards my face it was so bad but yeah this is how I do my hair if anybody was wondering I figured since we were here we could do our makeup together too I just want something super light I really just want to neutralize all the redness in my skin that's kind of the main focus of my makeup I'm gonna do today I'm gonna see how this foundation lawless beauty foundation works 
without a primer. I'm trying to do half my face so you can see the coverage. So here's what it looks like. I have a lot of red pigmentation under my skin. Foundation check. I think I'm gonna powder now. Keep trying out this Jouer powder. I wanna find a color corrector for right here in my eyes. It pulls really blue lately, I think from stress. So I kind of want to dabble into the world of color correctors. However, I still wanna keep my face super just easy. I don't want a super complicated look. You can see all these curls have started to fall except these front pieces. I'm getting 70s vibes at the moment. And I'll do a little bit of bronzer, some nude bronze light action. So I don't know if I explained what's going on. Nick's family is all coming up here for his birthday. We had to wait until they were all feeling better. So now everybody is coming up. We're gonna celebrate Nick's birthday, which is super fun. I made this whole entire spread, which I will show you. I worked really, really hard last night. I put it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me because I kind of update Instagram before I update YouTube, just because Instagram is real time. I'm also trying to get to a thousand followers on Instagram. As just like a personal goal. I had it at one point and then I stopped posting and I lost followers. That's what happened. I'm just gonna put the teeniest little bit of concealer on my eyes. Let's do just like a five second eye. We'll lay down some of the lightest color. I'm gonna concentrate it on the lid but then kind of fan it upwards. All right, a little bit in the crease. I'm gonna go in with the second lightest color right here. All right, and now all I'm gonna do is highlight minor corner and then put some mascara on. I do need to put on some blush. This is like my new favorite inner corner highlight. It is the one that I got from Makeup Forever. My face is looking a little bit flat. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. I'll just use this one because it's open. Soft Nectar Blush from Lawless, which is also matte. And then I need to highlight. I don't think I'm gonna actually highlight. I'm just gonna use these powders from Hourglass, the ambient lighting powders. And I'm really gonna go like kind of underneath the eye because my under eye was looking a little bit dark. Down my nose, give me a snatched nose. I'm just gonna take this highlighter and put it on my brow bone. Do my super, super fast brow. I literally just take the Kosas brow product and run it through. Now we just need to set with some spray. The Charlotte Tilbury one. All right, here is the super simple look. Again, this is still gonna fall. setup for the birthday boy so over here is all the plates and stuff and then I have a little veggie tray I made with some feta dressing some pumpkin seeds these are just some Publix white macadamia nut cookies and this is from Trader Joe's it's just a little Danish thing and then I have the pastry case which has some croissants madelines and some donuts and then we have our chips and dip and some gouda mini pizzas over there is the macaroni bites and my big fruit bowl it looks so cute <laughs> cooking some chicken marsala for dinner you can see it right there the sauce is going but I figured I would show you my wine haul that I did because I was just putting away my bottle of marsala wine so let me show you so here's the marsala wine that I chose I got it because of the designation that it has the DOC and I wanted a sweet one because I thought that would be nice. I literally used the whole bottle in the chicken marsala that I have over there, but I'm making like a huge batch that way I don't have to make this again for a while. Cause it's like, oh, it's easy, but like, what am I gonna do with a half bottle of this, you know? But I tried a sip of this and it was like really strong. That was kind of crazy. But here are the wines that I got. I went back and got a few more to try. So, oh, just hit my finger. So I got a couple of Moscato Diasis. So all of these, I think everything that I got is from Italy, but here's the Moscato Diastes. This brand I haven't tried yet, but it looks really promising. I'm loving all the wines that are from Piedmont, I think it is, Piedmont. This brand is really good. It's a little bit pricier than the others, but I've been loving the wines that I've tried from them. 
And then this Moscato Diasti is from this brand. And I love their sparkling red wine, the Bocretto. So, so good. It's really delicious. It has like notes of like cream and strawberries, which it definitely pulls through. And then I wanted to try the Rinaldi Bocchetto. This one's the most expensive one. I think this was like 30 and the rest are like 20 or under, but still I'm gonna try that one. And then here's three random ones. So this is a rosé from the Bartonura brand, which is the same as this one, the Moscato. And then I got a Lambresco to try, also from Italy. And then this is just an American red blend. I think it's just from California. It said sweet red. I'm not a fan of super dry wines. So this is what I got. But yes, I'll let you guys know how this is. I'll show you my plate when I make it up. Good morning, YouTube. So it is now what time is it? It is 11 o'clock on Friday. I think I'm going to film today. So I did my makeup. Let me get in better lighting. I did my makeup. It looks super cute. I'm going to be filming another makeup haul video that you will see on Thursday, I believe, because this is going up on Sunday. But I thought I would just give you a little bit of a haul that I got yesterday, I think it was. Let me show you. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby the other day with my mom when she visited me and I saw these beautiful ornaments. Look how pretty those are. And I know we are in September and I know it's kind of early, so don't hate me. But I saw these and they had like this huge sale on their Christmas stuff. So I was like, I need to get these. They're so cute. I'm like really into mercury glass right now. And I love the shape because I don't have any shapes like these in my current Christmas ornament stash. And every year I get a few pieces to kind of like build up what I have because we went from one room that we had to furnish to an entire apartment. So I just slowly build up and I literally got four boxes of these. So cute. I just wanna be prepared, you know. I'm just gonna tuck these away and then after Thanksgiving, we can put all these up and it'll be super fun. But I have another dossier haul. I have two more. I have two more perfumes that I got for fall. So one was based off of the kind of like an anti-recommendation from one of the influ influencers I follow, but I like really had to smell it. So it is based off of Terry, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the Mute Mugler Angel Perfume. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but the top notes are mandarin berries and passion fruit and the base notes are caramel, vanilla, and cocoa. So I was like, ooh, caramel, vanilla, and cocoa. That smells so good. So this one is the Gourmand Patchouli. It's very powdery. <laughs> I kind of see why she didn't love this one, but if you like kind of powdery and fresh scents, this one's definitely for you because it has a tiny bit of sweetness. The other one I'm super excited about. And I mentioned Dossier before, they gave me a coupon code, I'll put it right here in case you wanna pick anything up. But I like them because they have designer inspired fragrances so I don't have to spend like the 100 plus dollars to try out a perfume, I can just try it out for very inexpensive which is why I love Dossier. This one is a replica perfume. I love the brand. This is from Mason Margiela. This is Replica by The Fireplace. I thought this would be perfect for fall. This one has base notes of vanilla, Peru, balsam, and cedarwood, and the top notes are pink pepper, orange blossom, and cloves. It smells so, so good. It's kind of reminiscent of a bonfire, but in like a very elevated perfume scent. It's so good. It's slightly sweet. I'm going to wear some. It's definitely warm and cozy. So if you don't like warm and cozy scents, I would pick up something like the Gourmand or the Floriental Brown Sugar. That one's really good. The Floriental. I'll, lab I'll put my favorites down below because I definitely have favorites from the different designers. But yes, Woody Chestnut. Really good. That name is actually really fitting. It does. It is like a Woody Chestnut vibe. Definitely like sweet but earthy. I don't know. I'm kind of digging this. This is going to be really good for the fall. I think my boyfriend might even like it. It seems kind of unisex in my opinion. And I'm normally like a really sweet girly girl scent sort of person. But this is like, it kind of switches it up a little bit. And Dossier always gives these cards which tells you everything you need to know about the fragrance which I love because I'm not good at picking out like fragrance notes. So it says the notes, the scent it was inspired by, the concentration 
concentration. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe that's like the fragrance oil concentration and the perfume. And if you don't like the scent, you can always return them. They're free and then you can just pick up a new one or get a refund. And what I love about them is they donate all of their return fragrances. It's really important to me. It's definitely a more sustainable way to deal with waste. So love that. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I've had just a bunch of random stuff in this vlog very varied content lately but i'm gonna go film my video that needs to go up thursday and then i have a ton 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 of homework to do i have a lot going on this week i think my sister's coming up this weekend i wanted to end the vlog here so then i could start a new vlog if she's coming that way this one doesn't have too much in it and then also lastly i wanted to mention i was considering doing vlogmas this year i kind of have to plan ahead for it just because i'm really busy with school and everything so if you want me to do vlogmas if you go to my community tab i have a little poll that says if you want me to do vlogmas click that or if you just want me to keep my regular uploading schedule then click the other option but if i get like 50 votes to do vlogmas i'm just gonna do it but if not i have to really strongly consider it just out of time but i don't know if you guys like vlogmas or not i know i love it but i tend to watch vlogmas videos after vlogmas is over in like january i don't ever keep up with it as they're going because i just don't have time for it anyway that was really long-winded but yeah make sure you go vote in that and thank you guys for all of your feedback it's really helpful i am gonna go film now so thank you so much for watching the video if you like this please give it a big thumbs up and then also if you hit the little bell notification you can be notified whenever i upload a video and feel free to subscribe if you've made it this far all right you guys i'll see you in the next one bye